Alright, so here we have a crackhead in its natural habitat, which of course is a yard that does not belong to him. It seems that he has come across a generator. Alright, so he's going to clear this uh, lobster crate off top of this generator. Looks like he's going to try and potentially take the tarp off? No. Well, he might just be trying to access the quick access handle so that he can roll this generator away with him. Yes, it appears that's what he's doing. So now we're going to follow this guy onto the second camera of the house. Amazing this guy hasn't noticed all the cameras around this place. Say cheese. Now he's going to rotate up to the third camera. This one's only about five feet away from the other one. So he's really not getting any clear spot where he's not visible. Looks like now he's going to go out into the roadway. Probably wants to scout out to make sure the homeowners are not coming around. Looks up and down the street and quickly goes back. Looks like he wants to get that generator home. So this crackhead appears to only live across the street diagonally uh, from this house that he is stealing from. So here he goes. He's going to try and wheel that generator across the road. So he's trying to go diagonally across the road. What are you doing? Stops. What are you doing? Take a quick breath. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll just double check up and down the street. You know, gotta make sure there's no cops, no homeowner. Gotta make sure I'm not too suspicious, even though what I'm doing looks really fucking suspicious. All right, so I'm gonna go back and grab this generator and uh, looking up the road, it appears that the homeowner is on the way home. I have to hurry up and get this back out back. What am I gonna tell the homeowner? I'm not sure. Maybe I will tell him that a thief was out back and I chased him off. Anyways, I'm gonna flag down the homeowner. So here comes in the homeowner. Thief still here. And he is going to pretend that he just chased off the thief out back trying to steal his generator. What a nice Samaritan this guy is. Full of pebbles. Crack pebbles, of course. Now, this guy is uh, going to be named Braden Meisner. And he is living directly across the street diagonally from this person he's trying to steal from. And he's going to go out back with the homeowner and pretend, fabricate some kind of story of him thwarting off a th theft in progress, but this is clearly not the case. Uh, as the homeowner approaches the rear, there is clearly nobody there. There is a generator that is intact, but definitely moved. Now at this point he tells him, well that's alright, I've got cameras all over the place and I'm gonna go inside and check this camera system. As the uh, theft, or as the thief here looks back, smiles and Heads away. Now notice he was just walking slightly diagonal. It was because he was going to go across to his place over there. Now here the police have arrived. That's because the homeowner knows what's up. He realizes, you know, from start to finish what happened. You just watched it play out in front of your eyes. And I'm going to uh, be quiet here as the police come in. Yeah, all right. All well, 20 to be safe. Yeah. 20 to be safe. Yep. We, we use yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I know you guys. Hey, there he is. He's outside his fucking house right now. Decided to make a comeback. He did. He's going to his truck. Or no, he's going to pass his truck. Don't worry about it. There you go. Yep. So at this point, uh, yeah, the police are going to head out to their vehicle, and yep. uh, the homeowners actually get this point of view as well from the police leaving their driveway, uh, going down, chasing this crackhead down the road. Obviously, not doing much running. Chances are he's got no crack in his system, so the amount of energy There's in him is not worth running. Right there. there it is, instant justice for Braden Meisner. Here they go, they go ahead and cuff him. Probably reading him his rights because unfortunately the evidence is just completely stacked against this pebble pushing what little bitch. When crackheads try and rob the wrong house. You picked the wrong house, fool! Well, there you go, folks. I guess the big lesson learned here is that you picked the wrong fucking house. You know, uh, yeah, if you're going to scout at a place, probably going to, uh, you know, take a little time, see if there's cameras. Um, definitely don't do it in broad daylight. Well, he got what he deserves, and I'm sure he'll be let out by this liberal government within a couple hours. Anyways, thanks for watching. This has been uh, a crackhead attempting to steal a generator from my house. Braden Meisner, fucking thief crackhead.